Hello, my name is Victor Castro and this is our last video in this series for um, exploring Moodle for teachers. In this video today we're going to be taking a look at the gradebook. The gradebook is one of the more complex parts of Moodle and also one of the most um, useful and robust parts, I think, of Moodle. So um, we're going to take a look at that. To access the gradebook, we're going to go to the administration block right here and look for the grades link and click there. As the teacher, the first thing you see will probably be the grader report. The students see their own grades and only their own grades, but you get to see everybody and the grader report uh, helps you uh, have an overview and also access the activities and the different grades that we have. So, most of a, most of the activities, um, well, all of your activities that you create that are graded will be listed in your gradebook right here. Um, some of the activities, like quizzes, that are automatically graded, once the, the student takes a quiz, that grade will be pushed to the gradebook and it will appear here. In this case, nobody has taken the quiz yet, so uh, the, the, the grade is not uh, here yet. And some activities need to be graded manually. For instance, this submit uh, a text, an online, uh, online text that we created this activity in a previous video. This one needs to be graded manually. Now, to grade an assignment uh, or an activity manually, all you need to do is click on the activity. In this case, we're going to click on what's your opinion. And we come to the submissions page. And here we will be able to see everybody who submitted a pay, uh, the assignment and their grade. And we have a link also to grade if it hasn't been graded yet. In this case, model student, he uh, submitted something and is ready to be graded. Now we can grade in two different ways. You notice that we have uh, allow quick grading checked in this, in this uh, setting. So we can actually enter the grade right here, enter our comment, and save all this feedback so we can actually do all our all our submissions in one page or you can click on the grade link and a pop-up window will will show where you will be able to set the grade comment and uh, read at the same time what what the comment is uh, I'm gonna cancel here uh, here, if you want to read what the student wrote, you can click on his submission and you'll, uh, you'll see what he wrote. In this case, it's just something. Okay? Close the window. So th that's the two ways of grading. You can read the submissions here and enter right on this table the, the grades, or you can click on the grade button and have a pop-up window with, with the same information, basically. Once you're done, though, either way, you need to save your feedback. So click there, and your feedback will be committed. Uh, you'll see the change now in the teacher modified uh, time and date. And you'll see the final grade reflected. And instead of a grade, an update. You can come back and change the grade if you want. If the student resubmits, for example, the assignment, then uh, we will be asked to uh, update Okay, the grade. So that's the way we grade assignments in Moodle. Let's go back to our gradebook, and we're going to go through the main course page, grades again. And when we get here, we'll see that the grade is already reflected. Okay? Um, now, that's grading an assignment. Uh, in the, the gradebook also has different different reports that you can take a look at. Uh, you are in the grader report, that's the teacher's report, uh, but you can also see the overview for each student and this tells you how they're doing in all the courses that they're taking. And the user report, which is a detail of the course um, that is 
this course that you are uh, teaching, right? And you can see for each student their uh, grades in detail and the feedback. This is what they see. This is their, their report. So when they click on grades, this is what they will see. Also, uh, you can manage categories and uh, items in the simple view category and item simple view uh, page and here this is where we program how we want our gradebook to add the grades how we want our gradebook to behave now the first thing that we have is um, right now we don't have any categories for this course we just have the three assignments each of them is worth 10 points and a total of a hundred which is the average of those scores the mean of grades and you can see it here uh, we have the aggregation set for the course to simple weighted mean of grades so we get the average of the three down here uh, we're actually going to create some categories because I want the quiz the quizzes to be in one category and the assignments to be in another so let's create a couple of categories we're not going to worry much about um, the settings now let's just create them so I'm gonna create a quizzes category there we go and I'm going to create I'm clicking add a category and uh, I'm gonna add the assignments category so I have my two categories here. Now I'm going to put the assignments and the quizzes in the right category. So I'm going to select select the quizzes, and then at the bottom I say I see move selected items to, and I'm going to choose the quizzes category. And sure enough, when the page reloads, I see that the quizzes have moved inside the quizzes category. I'm going to select my assignment and do the same thing move the selected item to the assignments category there we go and we see that when the page reloads our um, our assignments are inside the appropriate category now what's happening here is that everything is programmed the aggregation is programmed as simple weighted mean of grades and that means that it's the average so uh, the students are going to take the two quizzes, those quizzes are going to be averaged, and a, a grade of 100 is going to be assigned, over 100. And uh, the assignments, however many we have, they will be averaged up to 100. And then it's going to take those two categories, the scores for those two categories, and average that into the final grade. I want it to be a little bit different, though. I want, it, I want the final... Uh, grade to be a sum of the categories so I'm going to pick sum of grades and you can see now that um, the change is reflected and so the course is the course total will be the sum of the categories but right now we have them at a hundred and a hundred so the total for the course will be 200 that that's not right so we got to change the category total I'm going to say that the quizzes is going to be worth maybe 40 points of the total grade and the assignments is, are going to be worth the rest 60 let me save those changes and now sure enough I got 40 60 and the course total sum is a hundred so that's how we organize how our grade will be calculated um, and we have all of our uh, all of our assignments and quizzes there now there's one more thing that you can do when it comes to uh, the gradebook and that is you can add grade items which don't appear as part of the course they're not an assignment or an activity in the course but they are great items that are that only exist in the gradebook now this is useful for instance if I'm doing a lot of um, uh, not assignments that are not online offline assignments and I can even add an offline assignment 
activity but also for instance I'm going to add an acti a grade item for participation uh, which is only it's only what I account okay so let me add participation and this uh, grade I'm going to give it a maximum grade of 10 so you get 10 points in participation if you participate I'm going to save those changes and now we will see that a new item has appeared in our gradebook and it's participation and it's worth 10 points uh, it's not in a category and it doesn't need to be because it's just a participation grade but it is uh, adding to the total and now my course total is 110 which is not right so um, unless I'm doing extra credit or something uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the assignments category and I'm going to make it 50 to give a uh, space for the participation grade there we go. So now we have 40, 50, 10 for participation, and 100. Now, how do we grade participation? Because it is not an assignment, there's nowhere, I can't click on it, and there's nowhere to go for the grading. You can actually grade the, the this kind of items directly on the graded report. If you turn editing on, you're able to change any grade and you're able to justify if you edit the grade you're able to say why you're editing the grade so most grades will land here automatically when you grade the assignment but or when the students take the quiz but you can also come back and change those grades if you want so there's a lot of freedom for you when it comes to the to the you know the gradebook so and here the graded item uh, that we entered the participation item this is where we can uh, enter the grade and I know it has to be over 10 so he the student participated a lot I'm giving him a 10 update and uh, that grade is now entered let me turn editing off and we'll see it there reflected okay so that's um, that's a quick look at the grade book and the things that you can do with it um, as a teacher these 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 I think I've chosen the more useful parts you can also uh, and I'm just gonna show you this there's a lot more that you can do with a gradebook in terms of how the grade is calculated if you go to the full view we've explored the simple view which is this for for managing the categories and adding grade items but you can also choose to uh, see the full view which gives you a lot more options over how the grades are calculated, how they're aggregated, etc. You can also view scales. If you uh, you can program scales, you can program letters, you can import and export your grades either from Excel or to Excel, for example. So that's a quick look at the gradebook. I I hope it's help helpful. Oh, what did I do? Sorry. I hope it's helpful and um, thank you very much. Uh, check out the other videos in this series. They'll give you a complete overview of the things uh, I feel you can do or are useful for you as a teacher starting to teach in Moodle. Thank you very much.